The mumps outbreak continues to spread on the IU Bloomington campus. And tonight, university leaders say they're keeping close tabs on the students who've tested positive and those who may have been exposed to this contagious illness. Now tonight, some students told our own David McNally about the precautions they're taking to stay healthy during the final weeks of school. On the IU Bloomington campus. All of my classes are pretty small, and I don't really interact with most of the other students that much. Yeah, same. I'm just like to myself, and I'm just like, I don't have to... Yeah. worry about all that, especially after the first story broke out. I was like, I'm just going to keep Humble my distance. People. Trying to stay healthy this last week of classes before finals amid a mumps outbreak on campus. Even with just a handful of cases, it's a worry. I got an email that like someone in my class, uh, I was in the same class as someone who was exposed to it, or like that someone that had it, so I may have been exposed. IU health officials reaching out to warn and educate students at a news conference to update Monday. Right before I came, I just learned of another case bringing it to 20 confirmed cases. But 16 students are already over the mumps. At least three others are still in isolation dorms till they're clear of symptoms. We have not had any major medical complications in any of them. Um, we do have some pending tests on patients that we suspect mumps. So there could be a few more mumps cases in the pipeline. IU says it is struck in dorms, off-campus housing, even some cases could be linked to a fraternity house. We also met with the executive board uh, of the fraternity to encourage them to to cancel any remaining social activities this semester and they did decide to do that on their own accord. IU not naming the house. By law all students by freshman year are supposed to have two doses of the mumps vaccine unless they have a religious exemption and IU says none of these cases involve any students that have religious exemptions. So why the outbreak? The MMR vaccine after time is not 100% effective, and students have close exposure to each other, increasing risk. I've just been like making sure I'm monitoring my symptoms and stuff. It would obviously be unfortunate, so I hope that I'll be okay. So far, symptom-free. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.